Did you know that mosquito bites can only cause diseases when they come from an infected mosquito? When a female mosquito feeds on an infected human or animal, it takes up a pathogen that replicates inside the body of the mosquito, which becomes infective after several days. However, only a few of the 3,600 mosquito species worldwide have the ability to transmit diseases. That's why it is crucial to group mosquitoes based on their potential transmission ability. If a mosquito belongs to one of the genera Anopheles, Aedes or Culex, then it may be able to transmit disease. Anopheles Malaria can be transmitted only by the Anopheles mosquito species. Their adult females have long palps and rest with their abdomens pointing upwards. They bite during the dusk and dawn hours or at night. Anopheles eggs are laid directly on the water and are unique for having floats on either side and larvae lie horizontally on the water surface. The Anopheles species prefer clean, still water with partly submerged plants, but some can also be found in highly nutrient-enriched waters in and around human settlements. Aedes Various Aedes species are dangerous invasive species like the Asian tiger mosquito and the yellow fever mosquito. These species can spread human arboviruses such as chikungunya, dengue, yellow fever and zika. Mosquitoes from the genus Aedes usually have darker colours than Culex and they are active mostly during the day and during dusk and dawn. They lay their eggs in unique habitats such as on damp soil, tree holes and the inner walls of different types of container that collect water, including road drains. Their eggs remain dormant until flooded. Culex Culex mosquitoes are the most widespread species across the world. Culex pipiens, the common house mosquito, is the vector of the West Nile and Usutu virus and of the dog heartworm disease. Mosquitoes of the genus Culex are brownish colored and usually bite people at night inside and near houses. Their females have short palps and rest with their abdomen more or less parallel to the surface. They prefer artificial habitats, shallow margins of ponds, channels, lakes and small impoundments. They can also be found in temporary pools. Their eggs stick together and float on the water. Culex larvae have a siphon to breathe and hang upside down from the water surface. Having this information, you can now find the breeding sites of the mosquitoes that bite you and act on them. Eliminate or report them and help control the mosquito population in an environmentally sustainable way.